Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Guys, I apologize for being so long since my last video on my channel. Um, I have a big reason why is because of school, and now that it's close to the end of the year for me, and I'm gonna be heading towards summer vacation. I'll be doing a lot more videos for you guys. I'll be very very busy with you with YouTube and my channel and everything, and making videos for you guys reviewing. The new Lego Star Wars sets that just came out, like, yesterday, yesterday, which I got a great story for you guys, because I actually got all of the once of the seven sets, like, three days early, so, which was pretty fun and awesome, I actually got them from Target, so, I'll explain that a little bit, um, to sum up what's been going on, um, I've been pretty busy with school, because once I got back from spring break, and... After I did all the 2014 reviews and everything, and like mix of 2016 and 2014 reviews for Lego sets back at, like at the end of March, things kind of went down a little bit. It kind of was a little rough around the edges for school for me for the first two weeks back from spring break. And so I had to recuperate myself and re regain everything that I lost and from grades and such, and from my grades. And so I'm fine now. And it went, everything's back to normal now, and so I'm doing finals right now, and I got one more tomorrow, one, one more final tomorrow for me, and so far they've been doing okay, and um, I just gotta say, um, whew, it's just been one heck of, of a past two months for me <laughs> with school, and so that's really the big biggest reason why I've not been able to make videos as such, as such is because I've been busy with school, and try to keep up with everything, is what I've been trying to do. And so, guys, uh, as you can see here, I took down these two posters, the Iron Man poster and the Spider Man poster that I used to have up on the wall. And so, like, uh, like four weeks ago, I actually got frames for these Lego Star Wars posters that we began last year, during like the May the 4th, every day, it, like each month for Lego, for Lego.com, or, or, or from the Lego store. And so, I got my frames, and now I have them up on the wall. Which I got them at a pretty nice, a pretty nice. I got them at, and then the Sarah's a Clone Wars poster, and then I have Yoda and the Quizzer and the First Order Stormtrooper, and the Sarah as well. And over here, I actually have the new addition to that poster series, the Force Awakens poster. I actually have it hung up over here, over my desk, right there, where I have the Star Wars Rebels Captain Rex Hasbro action figure, or I guess to the Rebels. Ahsoka and Re Rebel Star Vare, and a picture of Ahsoka Vare <laughs> from the season finale of Rebels, which I, I think it was the best two episodes out of the entire series, and it was the best two episodes that I've seen since the Clone Wars, so yeah, <laughs> that took me back, way back. <laughs> and so enough about that. <laughs> and so, as you can see, the reason why I'm showing you guys the May figures is because this summer I'm, I'm planning to do... Review is like a two bit, it's a what, like one to two bit review on every single one of these figures I have up here on the wall this summer. This is something new that I'm going to be doing for my channel. I think it will give it be a better opportunity to get a little more subscribers and such to my channel. So, yeah. Okay, every single one of these baby figures I'm going to be reviewing everything, going to full detail everything. It's going to be a lot of fun because it, it's going to be fast and easy. It's like two bit, like one to two minutes long, which is nice. <laughs> and now like thirty minutes long, like uh, like my Lego Star Wars reviews, like the set reviews and such, which take like a random amount of time. It, 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 it could take it any time it wants to because I remember one set I reviewed last summer, like a year ago. It was the Death Star file dual set from 2015. If you guys remember that, it came with the Darth Vader, Luke, and the Emperor, and two Royal Guards. That one was like fifty minutes long. <laughs> I didn't realize that until I was. And the review on my computer, and my so software on my computer, and I like realized it was like 50 minutes. I was like, "Wow, this is gonna be the longest review I, 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 I probably was ever gonna see <laughs> in my life, probably." <laughs> and so, this is gonna be a great opportunity for me because I'll be able to do like multiples every day. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to do at least one each day this summer because it would be off everything for the next couple months. It'll be a great opportunity for me to get more subscribers. And try to make a little more of a cash, if you would say. A little more of a profit 
on my YouTube channel because right now my YouTube channel is going a little low on profit right now. <laughs> Which I can't understand why because I only have like 35 subscri subscribers right now. <laughs> I can't understand why. And so I've, got, I've been trying to find different ways to make a profit with my YouTube channel. And so I think this will be a great opportunity for you guys to decide which main figures you guys actually want because as you, as you can see, all these spaces right here. These are from all the different main figures Waco has made since 1999 with Star Wars. Even though I don't have all of them, this summer I'm planning to get most of these because I've been planning to get all of these for the past two years. And I haven't gotten that far because I've been so busy with school and spending all my money on other stuff like the new Lego Star Wars sets from March, January, and just now, June. And soon... Uh, September slash October for Rogue One, and so I gotta find some time to get more of these baby figures because they ain't gonna be going any cheaper anytime soon. So I gotta get one that's still a good deal. And so yeah, that's what I plan to do here with the baby figures is I'm gonna be reviewing every single one this this summer. That's what my goal is. One of my top goals for the summer is to get all those reviewed for you guys, so you guys can decide. Which main figure you actually like? Really like? If like if you like one of the Anakin's or something that they made, or Obi Wan, or one of the Clone Troopers or Storm Troopers or something from Rebels, or if you guys have a guy in one of the recent sets that are still out of stores, you can see the main figures. And I can, I'm gonna review those too. So if you guys have five main figure they like that's out there in one of the sets that is on the shelves still right now, as of this moment, I'm making this video. Then. Bottom is it gotta get off of eBay or just get the set. Which I gotta admit most of these sets so far have been pretty awesome. <laughs> so yeah. Enough about that. <laughs> and so as you can see here, I got all my billable figures displayed. Uh, I got all of them but Finn. So yeah, I got Ray, Poe Dameron, the first Aura Stormtrooper, Captain Phasma say in the back there, Kyle Ren, and all the ones that I reviewed like <sighs> six months ago. I can't say how many months ago, but I know it was like October, September. And so, the reason why I stopped reviewing those was because, I don't know, there wasn't really much to show. It's like, a, it's like basically the same thing, same techniques, same features over and over again. So, I just decided not to review them anymore. And so, as you can see, I got a new sh another shelf here just because I'm going to need more storage space eventually. <laughs> because I, as I get more sets, the more space I'm going to need. So, <laughs> And as you can see here, here's Darth Vader and Kyle Ryan, as usual, as always. And I actually moved my Xbox One console from here to here. Because, I don't know, because I just kept taking up space on my desk. And so, I had a, one heck of a hassle trying to figure out what the heck was wrong with the signal on the thing. And I finally got it working. I finally got it right, I, like a month ago. And so, <laughs> this happened like a month ago. So, I used to have it down here at the bottom of the show. That didn't work, so I had to unplug everything, put it up here, and I finally got it working <laughs> again. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and so, Star Wars Battlefront, it's been pretty well done so far. It, 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 if you guys know, they're coming with another DLC update for Bespin, which I heard is going to be very, very awesome. And I haven't seen footage or concept art for it yet or anything like that, so I'm going to be walking into one hell of a new thing, so <laughs> it'll be pretty awesome. A pretty great experience. The LRM DLC is awesome. I loved that DLC. And I'm still loving it now. With Star Wars Battlefront. And I'm very pumped for the Death Star DLC. I can't wait for that one. <laughs> that's going to be my favorite one out of all of them. <laughs> and so. That's, gonna, that's pretty much it for up here. And so I'm going to take you guys downstairs to my studio. Which is in the basement. And so. Let's get on to my studio guys. So guys, uh, here is my studio down here, and as you can see, things have very, very, uh, really changed. To, and as you can see here, I got the cardboard stand-up of Darth Vader on one half, and then Anakin Skywalker on the left side. So I, I really, 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 really like this. I got this for my birthday, which was like a few weeks ago. So I, I'm actually 17 now, so if you guys want to wish me a happy belated birthday in the comments down below, you may. I, I wish for that. <laughs> I don't really mind. So, so, anyways, 
Carbor stand up with Darth Vader. Very, very awesome. Really, really like it. This Carbor stand up right, alongside Kyle Ren, which I got for Christmas like last year. And so, guys, as you can see here, the mock, the Battle Genosis mock is coming along. I got the mountain done, finally, which took me quite a long time, quite a lot longer than I expected it to. And so, now I'm going to be going on to the train here, getting all the brown and orange plates for, for it to complete it and to finish it off. Hopefully, I'll be done with this by the end of July, is what I'm playing. So, I'm hoping that will happen. I hope that everything is going to go according to plan. And so, as you can see here, mountain done, everything, take a look from over here, very, very nice with detail everything, I try to get as detailed as possible, in the cheapest way possible, along, along with it, <laughs> and so, clone troopers, everything, they're going to be on the mock, and as you can see here, I started collecting the six, uh, six inch black series figures, that are twenty dollars a piece, at your local Kmart's, Walmart's, Target's, Toys R Us's, anywhere really. <laughs> and right now I have Captain Phasma, the first Aura Stormtrooper, Kylo Ren, Darth Vader, and Ahsoka Tano, which was very, very hard to find because I could not find Ahsoka or I still going after three other ones that just came out alongside Ahsoka. The other three I was going to go after was Jango Fett, um, Luke Skywalker from A New Hope with a desert torso and everything. Like a, his attached wing outfit before he went off to the Falcon to the first Death Star. And so, and Ken Jarrus as well. So I'm looking for those three. I probably got into Orium from Hasbro because I have not seen them in the stores anywhere. I looked at Toys R Us. I, I pretty much looked everywhere. And I have not found any of them. I, have, I never even saw Ahsoka in the stores before. So why order her on eBay for like $40 or so like $20 more than I should have? <laughs> But it was worth it though, because this figure is awesome. Very nice way detail. I really like Ahsoka as a as a Star Wars character personally. One of my top three. Right, right next to Anakin slash Darth Vader. I don't know. It's just something about Ahsoka really betrays myself in some way, some sort of way that I have not figured out yet. But I just like her as a Star Wars character. She's an awesome character. If you, if you guys have never heard of Ahsoka, she is Aegis Skywalker's apprentice from the Clone Wars, and so she likes the Jedi Or because she was deceived by the Republic and the Jedi because everyone thought she did something illegal. <laughs> she, she, everyone thought she bombed the Jedi Temple, but she didn't. So she decided to leave because she felt betrayed, deceived. And so and then she saw she shows up in Star Wars Rebels as a Rebel leader known as Fulcrum, aka Fulcrum. <laughs> and so yeah. And then she faces off with Darth Vader himself at the end of season two, and we're at that point where we have no idea what happened to her. We don't know. We don't know if she died or not. And with season three coming up in this fall, and we're gonna see a trailer for it at Celebration in July in, in London. I'm hoping that Ahsoka did not die. <laughs> I just hope that she didn't, <laughs> because I don't want to see her die yet. <laughs> I'm expecting her to die soon. I don't want her to die either. <laughs> You guys know the feeling about it. Like, it, you really get really get into liking a character. It, you just can stand. You, you know that he, he or she is gonna die soon, but we still want that person to die. <laughs> so that's why I feel about Soka right now. <laughs> I just hope that she's gonna die. And so, by the way, guys, I'm not gonna review. It. I'm not gonna review these figures. I'm just getting. I'm just getting these figures just to look cool on the shelf. And everything. We go okay because they're that's what detail everything. They're gonna be looking cool on the shelf. So that's why I'm getting these. I'm not gonna review them. So just to let you guys know about that. And so, as you can see here, I have six of the seven new Lego Star Wars 2016 sub sets, excluding the exclusive Star Wars Rebels Rebel Combat figure with with the new version of uh, Rebels Ahsoka, with the new Ahsoka Bay figure. Excluding that one because I, I have no idea whether that was coming up, but I've heard rumors. That it's gonna be coming out this month, like June, July. I, I just heard that it's gonna be coming out a lot earlier than people are thinking. That's all I've gotten out of it, out of every, all the theories, and everything. So I'm not sure what's gonna be coming out, but I know it's gonna be coming out soon. This sometime this summer. That's what I'm gonna say. Sometime this summer. That's what I'm assuming. And so 
The only one I did not get is the Captain Rexus Captain Rexus ATT, which is because Target. Wait, wait. Uh, so let me get what you guys know about this. On um, Memorial Day weekend this past weekend, I went to Target on Sunday afternoon, like like early, like at one to two, like around one o'clock to two o'clock. Um, I went to Target. I had all the UPC numbers on in my phone. I was gonna ask why the employees would go in the back to get the sets that, so I could purchase them. But when I went back into the Wiggles section at my local Target here at Valpo, Valparaiso, Indiana, um, I actually found all these sets on the shelf. Like, what the heck? <laughs> I didn't expect this, so I just went ahead and bought all of them. Um, and so it, it looks like they just got them in. And from the truck, and from the back truck, and so they just, it looks like they just put them on the shelf thinking maybe they're supposed to be released today, I don't know. <laughs> and so when I went to check out um, the employee that was scanning the items, it came up saying like sort of like, uh, these toys are not supposed to be sold until June 1st, so I got a great deal on this stuff, and I got these sets as an exclusive thing. So, I got really lucky, I walked out and I got all these, and I, 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 never went, I never went to Target again since then, so I have no idea if they're still on the shelf or not. I doubt that, <laughs> I doubt that because they, they probably realized that they screwed up <laughs> by putting the stuff on the shelf three days early. <laughs> so they probably got them off the shelf by, uh, by then, but they're probably on the shelf now because they're supposed to be released yesterday. Yesterday, so I guarantee you they're probably on the shelf now at your local stores now. And so, yeah, and so it took me two days, it took me the rest of Sunday and half of Monday, Memorial Day, to get this to all this built. I was up till 2 a.m. in the morning Sunday night, Sunday, building this stuff, <laughs> and I, I, I didn't even have all of them done uh, yet. So I got up like a 8 a.m. Memorial Day morning, and I finished building this stuff, and so... Now I'm going to be in the process of reviewing them. And I got to tell you for you guys right now. Move this chair over. This uh, this set here, the Thai Advance versus the A-Wing. This, this, uh, this one overall is one of the best sets out of this wave. Because I guess... Uh, the fact that we get Darth Vader's Thai Advance again. That's pretty much what got me into really liking this set. Just because we're getting Darth Vader's Starfire again. <laughs> Because it's been since 2009, since we got his Starfire, and I never got in the 2009 one because it's so expensive now the, nowadays. <laughs> I, I, I've tried to get it, but it's, it's so expensive, I didn't want to spend all that money just for like a $30 toy that was like actually $30 in the store back in the day. So I just waited until they made a new version of it, and here is the... Darth Vader Starfire again, 2016 version, and this is actually based off Star Wars Rebels, so that's pretty cool. I don't really care if it's based off Star Wars Rebels or not, I'm just glad that guy is Starfire now. <laughs> that's all I'm happy about. And plus we get a new A-Wing and everything, get Darth Vader again. Now, people are saying that this Darth Vader big figure is not new. I'm going to say that they're wrong, because if you guys take a really good look, because if you guys got the Death Star file dual Darth Vader, you guys will realize that the torso on these two, on those two dark bears, that one and this one, are different. This this torso here is more accurate to the Rebel Star Bear, while the torso on the Death Star File Dual Dark Bear main figure is more accurate to Return of the Jedi. And so, I noticed that with the people reviewing this set, it is saying that this Star Bear is not new. I'm saying that it is new. Because of the new torso, but everything else is exactly the same. So, yeah. Enough about Darth Vader. <laughs> Grand Moff Tark is Sabine. Great to have, especially the new version of Sabine for Season 2 and Rebels Grand Moff Tarkin. Because we haven't gotten Tarkin in years. <laughs> and another A Wing pilot. So, yeah, this is one of my favorite sets. This is probably my number one favorite. Right next to Captain Rex's ATT, which I do not have yet, which I wish I did have. <laughs> And number three, my third favorite part gonna be the Quang Turbo Take, just because it's from the prequels, pretty much. Just because it's from Revenge of the Sith, and it looks cool. It looks a lot. I know people are saying that this was twice as small, which I can understand why. Now that I built it, everything, now I can see why it's 
people are complaining is, is about its size, but I really care about the size. I just really like the detail. I just really like how accurate it is to the movie, really. And that's what makes me like this one a lot more than the 2010 version of the Clone Turbo Take that was actually based off Star Wars The Clone Wars. So yeah, number three, in favor of everything. Now, the Freemaker Adventures, um, whew. I don't know if I'll be watching it or not. <laughs> I may watch it just for comedy's sake. I don't know. <laughs> because I've heard a lot about this and, and people are not really liking it. And people are not going to watch it and everything. Which I completely understand why. <laughs> because it's Lego Star Wars TV series. So... I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of like with Star Wars Rebels where no one liked Rebels uh, before it even started. When... Wilkesville was actually in the process of making it. It's that they, they, a lot of people were like, mm, Rebels? Uh, okay. I guess I'll give it a try. <laughs> and then once people started watching it, they actually loved it. <laughs> Especially now with Ahsoka Vader uh, now. And Grandma Tarkin and everything. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> Back to the Freemaker Adventures. Um, <laughs> I heard that rumors about this. Uh, saying that this took place between the 5th and 6th movie. Uh, whew. I don't think this is canon at all. <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't really think it's canon to the Star Wars universe. I don't really think so. I think this is just Lego's opportunity to make another Star Wars TV program for Lego. Which I completely understand because they made so many different things which, are, which I really like. Because they're so funny. <laughs> because Lego, you know, Lego. They always have to make videos and everything. Little clips and everything. Little movies and everything. That it, to make everything so funny. <laughs> so... I probably just gotta watch it for comedy's sake. Just to get a good laugh out of Star Wars out of something Star Wars or so. <laughs> but the builds here, the sets that are based off the Free Maker Adventures that came out of this wave, I really I really like. Because for this one, I'm gonna be talking about more about this in, the, in my reviews for these sets. But I like I actually like this one a lot better than this one. Just because you could probably use this a lot more in many different things with the Sith and the dark side characters and everything. So yeah, couple Force Awakens sets, all the sets to have, X-Wing, our car parts, shop, everything, so yeah. And instructions over there, all the boxes down here. <laughs> As you can see, I got some shelves to hang up the UCS sets I, ha I have right now, the Slave 1 and the TIE Fire. And so I plan to get the Assault on Hoth UCS set, like, Black Friday this year. So, I could probably maybe get a good deal on it, because I go out and pay $250 for it, <laughs> of course. <laughs> so, that's going to be it, guys. So, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below on my channel. And I'll see you guys in another video. And hopefully, it'll be up, everything will be up soon. Hopefully, I'll get the reviews up and running by next week, sometime next week. So, because once I get out of school tomorrow, I'm going to be all out getting the stuff done as soon as possible. Get all this review, sets review, everything. Reviewing the main figures I told you guys I would do. Everything. I'm going to be working out as much as I possibly can. Getting this done as well. So. That's going to be it guys. So. Have a great day guys. Bye.